thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can take advantage of the foam burner power dialer directly from within your Zoho CRM. We've created an extension that you can easily install into your Zoho platform, allowing you to initiate a dial session directly from within the Zoho CRM. This can be done from the contacts module as well as the leads module. So let me show you how it'll work once you've installed the extension. I've got a saved filter here called contacts to call. Once I select that, that'll give me a specific list of records that I want to call. And then from there, I can select those records. After you select the records, that's when you'll see the option to begin a foam burner session. You'll see this foam burner button right here. All you need to do is click here. Now, the first time you launch a dial session from within Zoho, you will have to grant permission to both Zoho and foam burner so they can talk to each other throughout your session. So I'm going to go ahead and click the accept button so that the phone burner connector can actually access the contacts that I've selected to call. And now I need to sign in to my phone burner account. So I'm going to enter my phone burner username and password. If you don't currently have a phone burner account, just go to phoneburner.com and you can set up an absolutely free trial account so that you can test drive the phone burner power dialer. I'm going to go ahead and click sign in now. And on this screen, I'm actually going to approve the connection between the phone burner Zoho connector and my phone burner account. So I'm going to click on the approve button. The next time I go to initiate a dial session, I will not have to go through that same exercise of granting and approving access between the two systems. Now at this point, I'm going through the settings to configure this specific dial session. So I'm going to choose my voicemail if I have multiple voicemails. I'm going to choose my dialing and live answer sets. Those refer to the buttons or dispositions that I'll have on the screen as I'm making calls. And then if I've configured a specific caller ID, I can choose that at this point. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And now I just need to connect my phone to the phone burner system to begin dialing. And one of the great things about phone burner is it works with your existing computer and your existing phone. All you have to do is make one phone call into the phone burner system, and then phone burner will make all the individual calls as you're going through the dial session. So here we are, we're now connected. I'm gonna go ahead and start dialing. Once I start dialing, the system is gonna start calling through the list of records that I had selected at the start of the session. So here I'm calling the invisible woman. If it goes to voicemail, I don't have to listen to the entire greeting. I don't have to wait for the beep. I can just instantly drop a voicemail by clicking on the voicemail button down at the bottom of the screen here. So here I'm calling Blue Beetle. Once again, if it goes to voicemail, just click the voicemail button and off you go to the next call. So let's say I'm calling Tim and Tim answers the phone. There's no pause, no delay, no awkward silence. I just start talking. At some point, I'm going to click Live Answer, and I'm going to end the call when I'm done talking to him. I can take a few moments here to add some notes. After I've updated my notes, you may notice that there are a bunch of custom fields here. These custom fields are actually pulled over from your Zoho environment. And any changes you make to these fields here will also update the record in Zoho. And once I've made all the updates I need to here, I'm going to go ahead and click on one of these disposition buttons down across the bottom of the screen based off of the outcome of the call. So let's say I scheduled an appointment with Tim. So I click the set appointment button. And now I'm off to the next call. So let's say I'm calling Iron Man and he doesn't answer. So I click the no answer button and I'm off to the next call. Now you may have noticed, in addition to making these calls, phone burner is also triggering emails. This is an additional functionality that you can take advantage of, and you can configure any or all of your disposition buttons to also trigger an email. So let's say I call the question and he wants me to follow up with him later. So I click the follow up button. If I have an email assigned to that button, the system will trigger that email. And let's say this contact doesn't answer, so I click no answer. 
Now that ends my session because that's all the records that I had initiated in this specific dial session. You can see here, I made these calls in five minutes, saving me about 10 minutes in time to make these six total phone calls. If I click here to view the details, I can see the specifics of what happened during that dial session. So now let's go take a look at what's actually happening back in Zoho. Let's take, for example, Tim. Tim we called, connected with, and we set an appointment. So let's go back to Contacts in Zoho. Let's open up Tim's details. If we scroll down here, you'll see the notes from our call were automatically logged in the record within Zoho. And the activity was also logged automatically in the Zoho records. Here you can see it was logged as a call. And a couple other important things is the call result and the call duration. That information gets pushed in real time directly from the dial session back into the record in Zoho. Anyway, that's how easy it is for you to initiate a phone burner dial session from within your Zoho CRM. I hope this helps you start getting more done in less time using the power of phone burner. Bye for now and happy dialing.